Hey everyone, this is Daniel, and in this video we are going to take out this new feature which is now available um, in Power Apps, and that's the embedding of Power BI titles. So um, on July 27th, 2017, Philip um, announced this great new functionality, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my um, Power Apps and its Power BI report, and I'll uh, integrate the two. So what I have over here is my um, Power App, um, and as you can see, that it's just a pretty straightforward app to uh, a mobile app to go ahead and put in some requests. Um, and for each of these requests, uh, there has been a asset. Um, you have the manufacturer, you have the asset type, and you also have where you can go ahead and see uh, what were the accessories for that app. So, you know, docking stations, keyboard, monitor, mouse, and so on and so forth. Uh, what would be great is if there was somewhere in this Power App itself, I could get a running report of you know, how many um, manufacturers, uh, which is Dell or HP, how many of those have been used, how many of them are laptops, um, and also how many of them have been you know, keyboards, how many keyboards, how many accessories, and things like that. If I could just have one of those, um, or dashboards of those available here in this mobile power app, that would be great. And that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. Um, I will pause over here on the power, um, power app and let me go into the, um, uh, Power BI because I've already built um, at least the uh, Power BI report. So in this uh, sections over here, I actually have things such as the running count of the laptops. Um, I have a report, and these are all pie charts, which basically show how many of them were the manufacturers which are uh, selected of the manufacturers, what were they are, um, uh, you know, but which of them were the actual models, and then also we have a running count of all the accessories. Um, in order for the um, integration to happen, you have to have dashboards. So what I did was I went ahead and created a dashboard called Demo3. And in each of these dashboards, I've actually um, added all of my um, reports which I originally built. So now that I have my dashboard over here, I will go ahead and um, embed those into my Power App. So let me go into my Power App now. Um, and we will edit it and add the uh, Power BI. Okay, so I see that now my Power App, uh, app has opened. Uh, one of the first things I'm gonna do is I will build a screen. So let me create a new screen, keep it blank. I'll rename that to say dashboard one. In here in the screen, let me add a background. Yeah, it looks good. Fill that up. Um, then I'm going to do some add some navigation over here. Um, icons. There's a back arrow. Let's put that back arrow here. Here, um, let me change the color. This one um, on select, it is going to navigate back to the browse screen. This one on select is going to navigate to the next dashboard. So what I'll do is I'll pause, I, will, I mean I'll go ahead and duplicate this one and I'll rename that to dashboard 2. And so now I can go back to the dashboard 1 and I will Dashboard 2, I'll navigate this back to Dashboard 1. And this guy over here, he can navigate. Uh, selecting on that will navigate us back to Browse Screen as well. Okay, so 
that one is taken care of. Um, now let's go to dashboard one and we'll add this new feature. So in, in um, insert under controls, now you have this new control called Power, Power BI title. So I'll select that. So now let me just add one here. And this is where I go ahead and select my workspace. If you remember, it was in my workspace. The dashboard, I call that as demo three. And for the first one, dashboard, I'll put that as manufacturer. So that's the exact same tile that we had over there. Um, also, let me add another control. And in this case, I'll add that, let's see, my workspace, demo three, and we had manufacturer over there, so let's put in some information about the um, models. So sometimes you might see this little dark screen. What you do is just uh, minimize it and maximize it, and you can get all the information back again. Uh, that's just a refreshing thing. So um, this looks good over here. Let's go to the next dashboard. And over here, I'll do the same thing. I'll add that control, but we'll just um, make sure we add some different Power BI tiles that we added. Demo three. In this case, I will do the um, count of the device. Laptops, and then I'll also insert. Finally, is all the accessories. So let's so minimize it, maximize it. And we've got all that information here. Let's just uh, do a little bit of cleanup. Increase the size a little bit so it's more visible on the actual mobile device. Um, same thing here. All right, so this all looks good. Um, now I just need to do some cleaning up on the home screen or on the browse screen. So what I'm going to do is here I'll add a button which will straight away take me to that um, dashboard screen. So here I'll leave that as it is. I'll change the text to say dashboard. it'll take me to the dashboard page one. So I think all that looks good. Let me go ahead and save it. Let's also do a little test over here. And it shows that the information comes up, uh, the dashboard comes up. And also another good thing is when you hover your mouse around it, you're able to see the same information over here on the Power app um, as you're able to see on the Power BI. Because right now I can see not only it's the, the manufacturer's HP, but I can also see the count. Um, same thing over here on the other manufacturer, it's Dell, but I can see the manufacturer count over there is two. Um, same thing for the models. Um, a good way to see that is in the accessories. Um, I can see that the count of mouse is three, monitor is three, keyboard is four, um, laptops is three. So it, it does give you very similar, if not the same functionality um, as you see in um, Power uh, BI over there. So this is just a really good integration feature which is now available um, and it really helps to get uh, 
the um, the the graphs that you have or the reports that you have on Power uh, BI, you can directly embed them into your Power App. So hope this has been helpful and giving you a good insight of this new feature that's available. Thanks.